Yeah. What's happening? It's been a minute, but I'm back. And today, I'm going to talk about something you need to know before you even go to Bass Pro Shop, before you try to get any kind of gear or tackle or anything. What you need to do is figure out what type of bass is in your lakes around you. So it's like three different types of bass. I mean, it's more than three different types of bass, but mainly three different types of bass. Number one, largemouth bass. Largemouth bass probably are in majority of lakes in the country, I would venture to say, even if it's not the predominant species, it's usually at least a largemouth in a lot of lakes in the country. So that's what that's number one. Number two would be a spotted bass, AKA a spot. So that's usually somewhere around South, when you start getting close to South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Kentucky, you know, some in Tennessee, you know, states like that, that's when you start to get the spotted bass. And number three, you got smallmouth bass. Now, smallmouth is more of a up north thing, probably. I've heard it's smallmouth in North Carolina. I ain't never been bit by one, I ain't never seen one, but, uh, we gonna find out, I guess, but largemouth is the predominant species here. So smallmouth, uh, typically you gotta go up north or west of North Carolina somewhere to get smallmouth. So anywhere above the Mason-Dixon line, you pretty much guarantee to have smallmouth in your lake somewhere. So first things first, you gotta know what you're fishing for because you wouldn't fish for largemouth the same way you fish for spots and you wouldn't fish for smallmouth the same way you fish for a largemouth. You feel me? So you gotta figure out what's in your lake and then fish for them type of fish to kind of increase your chances of getting bit. You know what I mean? So that's a very important lesson we start in our bass fishing. Know what type of bass are around you. And again, the main three species are smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass. So let's talk about largemouth. Largemouth typically have the largest mouth of <laughs> of these bass groups so therefore they'll you can throw bigger lures i guess you could say and they'll they'll eat them more readily a spot mouth ain't as big as a large mouth and a small mouth mouth ain't as big as a large mouth mouth yeah i would venture to say that if you live anywhere in north carolina and south until you get to florida you got large mouth in your lake or pond essentially probably above that too let me take that back definitely above that too but i guess the point is it's the main predominant bass i would say so you can have large mouth small mouth and spots all in the same lake so you would just fish different areas of the lake for them specific types of fish but we ain't talking we ain't gonna get into all that right now <laughs> all we talking about is three different types of bass so spotted bass Spotted bass are typically more of, I would say they're probably more aggressive than largemouth bass. They're kind of more related to smallmouth than largemouth are. I would say smallmouth and spots are kind of like cousins. If you want to say, like a lot of lures you can use fishing for spots, you can use fishing for smallmouth. So those are like, if you in like Lake Norman here in North Carolina, that's known for spotted bass. So when you get to Lake Norman and start going in the South Carolina, Georgia area, for sure it's probably some spotted bass in your lake. Definitely Kentucky area. I don't know too much about that area <laughs> or anywhere outside North Carolina and Georgia at this point and other places too outside of these, but these are the places that I know have spotted bass in them. Largemouth get the biggest out of the three. Okay, if you catch a 10 pound spotted bass, you might be approaching world record levels. If you catch a 10 pound smallmouth, same thing. If you catch a 10 pound largemouth, that's a big fish, but they've, they, they have been largemouth scaled upwards of 20 pounds. So if you can see the difference there, you know what I mean? As far as size goes. So I just want to put that out there as far as that goes. So spotted bass, on average, I would say between a pound and a half, two pounds would be a pretty... You catch a three-pound spot, you're doing something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you catch a three-pound smallmouth, you, that's a big smallmouth, but you start getting the fours and fives, that's probably... You're going to probably top out around four or five pounds at smallmouth and probably about four or five pounds for spotted bass, too. So... I'm telling you all all this so you'll know what I didn't know when I first started out. <laughs> I had no idea what 
any of these types of species of bass was. All I know was bass. And really, I didn't know how I could target bass or if bass was in fresh water, if they was in the salt water, if they were at the ocean, if they was in the river, a lake, I didn't know. So I'm gonna get into all that too with y'all, but for this video, just remember, three different types of bass, large mouth, small mouth, spotted bass. Remember those three things, you should be good to go, but know what you fishing for when you go to the store. That's why I said before you even go buy a rod, reel, bait, worms, hooks, all that, know what you're fishing for. You don't want to go out there throwing a 10-inch worm trying to catch a spotted bass. It might not work as good as it would with a largemouth. See what I'm saying? So do your homework in your area, whether it's look on YouTube and pull up your lake on YouTube at tournaments at that lake and see what type of fish they're pulling out. Or I'm pretty sure there are some other ways to find out other than, or just, you know, old fashioned, go out to the lake, see what you catch, see what's in there. Go ask questions, go to the bass pro shop or whatever tackle shops are close to you and talk to people, ask them what type of bass in the area. Tell them you knew the bass fishing, you don't know much. You want to know what you're fishing for, essentially and do your own homework as well. Don't trust everything everybody say. Kind of do your own homework and then ask questions to see if they match what you found, you know what I mean? So do those things before you even go to the store. So yeah, that's my little pro tip for today, getting you started with bass fishing. So make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you share it out to somebody who you think can use this information in a productive way. I'm definitely going to be helping people out as far as getting into fishing and kind of how to start and the what's what and how to get your feet wet and go on and progress and progress with different videos. So make sure you tune back in. But until next time, I'm out. Yeet!